And where do we see reviews on uh, your uh, your company? Love it. Hit the Facebook page. Yeah. Hit the hit the Facebook page, and there's a reviews tab. And I and I and I love talking about it. I would I would show you how to do this, except when in, when you do it on the stream, Facebook doesn't doesn't let you turn it into an ad after the fact. Everyone knows Amazon, right? And everyone shopped on Amazon. And you read the reviews on Amazon, and you never know if those people are real or they're shills or what's going on. And and you you always kind of wonder, right? How right. cool would it be if you could go into the Amazon reviews? And you could see a review that resonated with you and contact that person and ask a follow-up question. That's what Facebook is. Amazing. For the companies that have the temerity to actually have reviews and don't have it shut off because anyone can leave one. So we get harassed every once in a while. But you can go to the reviews tab on our Facebook page, scroll up and down those lists. They are all real people. Click on their name, click send message, and instantaneously ask them questions about us. Completely okay, transparent another on that. question then. Yep. Um, because I have a personal, I do have a Facebook page. Yep. And I keep it kind of personal. I keep it restricted. Mm -hmm. But then if I'm doing my photography or my artwork, then that would require another Facebook uh, page. Correct. Correct. Yeah. Because the, the reason being because your, your personal page caps out at 2,000 friends, right? Um, and a, a business page, you, you can go all the way up the chain, right? So you know, if you're, if you're going to sign up with us and start marketing, we're going to assume that you're going to get above that 2000 threshold, uh, in short order, and then want to continue to grow it. And so you have to have a, you have to have a business page. And do you suggest boosting, um, things on Facebook? Um, in the Bible, there are 10 commandments in my world. Commandment number 11 is thou shall not boost posts on Facebook and Instagram ever, ever, ever. I will come over to your house. You can put all that money in a jar. And I will come over with a nice bottle of scotch and you can light that money on fire in your backyard. At least we'll get some warmth off of it. Okay. Do not do that. Waste of time, energy, and effort and money for a whole bunch of different reasons. Um, All right. But we do, we, of course, we teach how to do Facebook ads and Instagram ads. They're a very important aspect. But you need to work on your marketing first such that you have all of these processes in place before you're even ready to enter the discussion about Facebook and Instagram ads uh, because you'll never see an ROI um, if you if you don't, if you're not doing all the other normal marketing activities. And so that's that's you know, what here's here's another interesting uh, question for artists out there. And I'm sure what you were talking about, your art artist client community that mm -hmm. you guys have through your company yep. is is that how to curate what you're putting there, you know, on your site, because especially photographers have tons of images. Hundred percent, not hundred percent, not a problem in the slightest. 100% not a problem in the slightest. And this is, this is a normal one of those tropes that you fall into. You, you think in your mind like, okay, I'm going to go through my whole collection and all of this stuff that I have. And once I figure out you know, the right way to organize it and put it into galleries, then I'll launch and then I'll get going. And guess what happens? The hours turn into days, turn into weeks, turn into months, turn into years. Still curating that gallery, are you? Still curating that gallery? This happens again and again and again to everybody. Hard, and, and, and editing is hard. And, and yeah, but the, the flawed premise of it is that you somehow are going to know how to set up the curation of that gallery without ever getting any feedback. Okay. You don't know. You are not smarter than your audience. None of us are. And you learn that lesson the hard way over the years. And I can't tell you how many times I have. We're sitting here worrying about all these things, okay? The constant analogy that I give is that you are a boat on the bank of a river ready to be launched into the water. Instead of launching the boat in the water and seeing whether or not the damn thing can float, you're worried about the color of the curtains inside the galley, and you're changing them from one to the other. Does this one look good or does this one look good? And then you're varnishing the back of the boat, okay? And then you're looking at the sails and pulling them up. I couldn't possibly get, no, 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 no. Stop with the nonsense. Push that damn boat into the water and let's see whether or not it floats. Okay. If it floats, then we can start figuring out some other there things. There you go. Yeah. There you go. You can't make these decisions in a vacuum. You don't know what you don't know. The only reason you will figure it out is if you start marketing. You put up all of the galleries in whatever way you think is best. Do not spend more than six minutes on the damn decision. Then go and market for a year. Then we're going to come back and we're going to look at your data. We're going to say, out of those six galleries, you had 10,000 people come to the site and they only entered two of them. Well, guess what? You're in that two gallery business and the other four are out. I just solved your, I just solved your organization problem with actual data from actual humans. It's a ball game. I know it sounds so clear when you have it all like laid out like that, but then you're like, damn, I still have to go do the work. And it's like, yep, yeah, yeah. you do, you do. All right. All right. 
I didn't mean to pick on you. I get fired up about these things. I get fired up about these things, Gary, I tell you. I can tell. I do. I do. Because, I, you know, I, I, again, like, you know, you, it's, it's pattern recognition. It's not hyperbole. Like, I've had hundreds of these conversations over the last year, and the same thing comes up again and again and again and again I'm and sure. again. And it's like there's yeah. no forward step or no forward progress, which I don't want to see. I want you leaving here saying, okay, I can't BS myself anymore. If I want to take this seriously and I want to make a business out of it, I'm not going to be curating my gallery and organizing it and contemplating what my styles are. I don't give a damn. Grab a shoebox if you've got a bunch of old negatives out. Scan them and let's launch with those. Let's go. Okay? Because it's a reversible decision. If that gallery didn't work, we can take it down and we can go into the next one. And you're going to be sitting around asking yourself, well, if I just get this organized and maybe I'll just spend a couple hours here and it, nothing ever gets done. You have to get it up. You have to get it live and you have to get feedback. That's the path. It is straight up. I appreciate All you, Gary. Good. And I want you to do it. And also, too, that's just that's part of what you get with us. Like, is there poking and prodding? Yes, there is. Is there some screaming and shouting? Within reason. Okay, within reason. But a little bit. A little bit, right? But then also, too, you know, we, 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 we and this is like a little inside baseball, but prior to the pandemic hitting, okay, maybe February last year, um, we had the great DIY education. We had the great Facebook group, right? We had some of these things sorted out. And what we didn't have sorted out was the community teaching piece. And if you're not going through all of these various different exercises with your peers, it is hard. You guys are solopreneurs. This is a lonely road, right? Like you don't have back office staff or interns uh, uh, or, or any of these types of things that'll help you your, bounce your ideas off people. So when you're going through in concert, okay, concurrently with a bunch of other people that are trying to achieve the same objectives you are, they'll be like, Oh, Gary, I was stuck on that thing for six months. Here's what I did, and I'm done, right? And then you go have a little offline conversation with them, and they'll be like, let's go, right? Like, that's totally, totally, totally how it goes. And, 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 and it is so fundamentally powerful, right? Like, I'm terrified, Patrick, of going on live video. I'm never going to go on live video. I would have to get, you know, the hair and the lighting and everything else. And then some person who has a face for radio just talks about how they did a live art show. They were nervous. They spilled wine all over themselves. The internet went out. Their partner was streaming Netflix. The quality was crappy, but they had fun and they sold six pieces. And you're like, you know what? Damn it. If they can do it, I can do it. Right. And there's something that's powerful about going through it with a bunch of others that are all trying to figure out the same thing at once. It, you know, it just, you can't do this stuff in a vacuum. You can't do this stuff in a vacuum. So people wonder why we charge what we charge because how the heck else are we going to support all of those types of activities on a regular basis. It's not easy. Like there's a lot of facilitation to do, but ultimately like, look, we, we need successful customers. This is the only way we know how to make successful customers, right? What's up YouTube. Thanks for checking out the Q and a what, if you have your own question first, uh, you can leave me a comment below on this YouTube video. I see them. I will respond. Uh, number two, uh, definitely encourage you to subscribe. It's very easy to do. There's some fancy motion graphics going across the screen now, uh, but there's a subscribe button. There's a bell button. You'll know when we're live. You can come on and say, Patrick, I have a question, uh, even from your YouTube app, which is super handy. And then the third is three times weekly, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, free Zoom calls. We call them the Art Business Workshops. There's going to be a link uh, directly below me in this description. You can sign up. Uh, they're free. You can come answer your question, which I'm sure will be awesome. And I will do my measure best to uh, make sure my advice is slightly better than marginal. Uh, no, but I'm, in all seriousness, I'll, I'll, I'll take a crack at answering it. Thanks. Uh, thanks for checking out this video.